And let's welcome right now on our Red Alliance, they are team number 9977. Making their way out of New Jersey, this is the Land Bros. And right next to them in blue, their Alliance captain, their 11,115. Residing out of the beautiful state of New Hampshire, gluten free. And across from them, let's welcome them for the first time from Massachusetts, team number 4029. They are two bits in a bite. They're from Lexington, Massachusetts. And they're standing right next to their best friend. Let's welcome their Alliance captain, 8644. The Brainstormers on the field for the second time. All right, these robots are ready to go. We have two and a half minutes on our timer. Referees give a thumbs up. Red Alliance ready. Blue Alliance ready. And three, two, one, go. All right, as we get this match started, you're realizing that the robots are hitting the jewels off that we were talking about earlier, leaving their designated colors still on the platform, getting extra points as we move into the teleoperated mode. And even after scoring those jewels, they're turning right back around and hitting that glyph pile hard as they're wanting to bring back multiple glyphs. We've seen this consistently throughout the week. There's not just the glyph that is preloaded on the robot, but there are glyphs also that they are able to collect. But you gotta remember, these robots cannot overpower the floor. Three, they cannot two, control more than two one. of those glyphs at once, or they'll get heavily penalized. So as you're realizing, we're making our way into teleoperated mode over on the red side. You see, they're taking their glyphs out of the crypto box. And why are they doing this? They want to make a specific pattern to get extra points by the end of this match. And the team 8644, the brainstormers for the blue line. Look at how quickly they're loading up their, their, their box, and they are just about there. They're very, very close already to scoring a brand new glyph. I gotta tell you, I'm a little bit nervous. We have 90 seconds left. I'm looking at the Lambros on the red alliance. That robot is sitting still on the floor. Something could be wrong. But we see their alliance captain, though. They seem to be making up for it. Their crypto box is almost entirely full. And then once it is, they're able to grab their relic and bring it to the recovery zone. One of the things about the robot that is not operable on the field right now is that we have FTAs on this field. Those FTAs are there specifically to go work with the team and try and get those robots up and running again. All right, Red Alliance and Blue Alliance has successfully gotten one relic per alliance out into the recovery zone. Yeah, and we see there we've got really fantastic job. We've got two of our crypto boxes filled to the rim, and we've got another one for the blue lines with two more glyphs ready to be loaded, and there they go. Wow, we have three crypto boxes filled up right now. 8644, the brainstormers putting another relic way out into the third zone. That could fall off the stage, and there's only 35 seconds left in the match. Red and Alliance, they're trying to make their way around their Alliance partner to try to fill up that crypto box. We're going to try to stay up on top of them as they bring their relic to the outside of the field, placing it down, successfully getting it into the recovery zone. So as we see it right now, with 20 seconds left, there are two Cyphers for the Blue Alliance and one Cypher for the Red Alliance, and the Blue Alliance has two of their relics out and the Red Alliance won. And look at this, the Blue Alliance, they took a coffee break. They already put down their controllers. The robots are on top of the balancing stones. Their crypto boxes are filled. And we're looking at three, two, two one. one. And that's the end of this match. That was an amazing competition. So listen, I have to tell you, what we're looking at here, and I think this was planned out by the Blue Alliance, is that they wanted to be in this second match with the team that is in Lexington with them. They're from Massachusetts. They've gone at state competitions. They've competed against and with each other. And in talking to their mentors, both of these teams, along with another team in Lincoln, Massachusetts, those three teams, I know you're in the audience, all three of these teams have a big social life with each other. They know how well they play together. Well, you can see that by the hugs. They're very, very close, as you stated. Really incredible teams. They've had an amazing performance this week, and we are so happy to have them here, and we expect them back very much so in other world competitions, as we do for the Red Alliance. All right, we're going to have some scores that are up on the big screen. And there you have it. Blue Alliance wins at 678, Red Alliance 431. Let's give a huge round of applause to our Red Alliance. They did an amazing job. And let's send it back to FRC. Here we go.